Nina Ridge is with us. So we're going from <laughs> wet to cold, essentially. Wet but cold, but at least it's going to be dry. We're going to get a chance to dry out. Today we had a few showers around, particularly across parts of East Kent and darker clouds there, but we're fin finishing the day with high pressure building. So there is a little hint of red there in the sky and that high pressure will continue to build as we go through, not just this weekend, but into next week as well. Now I think the cloud may be a little thick at times, so there could be a little bit of patchy and light rain this weekend, but for most of us, it is going to be dry. That cloud fairly stubborn but signs through Monday and Tuesday are perhaps something a little brighter. So it's western areas where through the night tonight we've got some of the thicker clouds so here perhaps a few of those showers around. Temperatures will dip down to lows of around three to four degrees. So a chillier start to the day tomorrow. We'll see some cloud, a little bit of brightness here and there and as I said for most of us it's going to be a dry day. Temperatures are on the way down. Temperatures tomorrow afternoon will reach highs of just six to seven degrees. Now those showers we've got across western areas will start to fade as we go through Saturday night and in towards Sunday and then it's actually parts of East Kent we're more likely to pick up some showers as winds start to come down from the North Sea they just pick up a little bit of moisture so we could see a few showers here but it's going to be a colder start on Sunday with those temperatures sitting just above freezing. This little cluster of showers then feeds across parts of East Kent as we go through Sunday morning with a fairly thick area of cloud but they do peter out by the afternoon so for most it's going to be dry and we start to pick up a little more sunshine with highs of five to six degrees. The high stays with us through Monday and Tuesday and it just starts to move its position a little bit picking up more of an easterly breeze, some drier air so that does mean increasing amounts of sunshine. It also means it's going to be turning colder not just by day but also overnight where we'll see temperatures at around freezing Ellie. Next stop snow. <laughs> Thank you very much Nina. That